and welcome back to our English journey. It's Miss Yuli here and it's time to start. Open your copy books and put down the date. Under the date, I will ask you to write two sentences about these two pictures. What can you see? Very good. This is an egg and this is soup. Why do I say an egg? Great, because it's countable and it's one and it starts with the vowel sound e. Why do I say this is soup? Great, because soup is uncountable, so I don't use e or n. And let's discuss our plan. Today we'll learn about some and any. Do you know these words? Then we'll use some and any in our speech. And point number three, can you guess? We'll use some and any in writing. Let's get started. We'll start with a game. This game has three levels. Level number one is the easiest because I will help you. You have three sentences and you can see three different pictures. What is this? Great, this is cereal. Is it countable or uncountable? It's uncountable. What is this? It's a cupcake. Very nice. Is it countable or uncountable? Of course, it is countable. How many cupcakes can you see? There is only one cupcake. Very nice. And what is this? Right. These are tomatoes. Are they countable or uncountable? Right. They are countable. How many tomatoes can you see in the picture? Right. There are five tomatoes. Now look at the first sentence. This is a. What do you think we'll speak about in this sentence? Right, we'll speak about an object that is countable and it's one. Look at the second sentence. These are. Are we going to speak about one object or many objects? Right, we'll speak about many objects and these objects are countable. It's very important because we cannot say are about uncountable. And look at number three. This is and then nothing. No a, no n. Right, here we'll speak about something uncountable. So look at the sentences, look at the pictures, and try to fill in the gaps. Number one, this is a. What do you choose? Cereal, cupcake, or tomatoes? Of course, this is a cupcake. Number two, these are, countable and many, tomatoes, very nice. And number three, this is cereal, very good. Level number two, you have three sentences and you have three pictures. Now you tr uh, try to fill in the gaps yourself. Pause the video and try to finish the sentences and then we'll check them together. Great, let's check. Number one, this is an egg, very good. These are strawberries. And number three, this is rice, very good. Level number three is the most difficult level ever because here you have three pictures and you need to write the sentences yourself without my help. And then you need to send the sentences to me. Look at the pictures once again. How many tomatoes can you see? Right. There are five tomatoes. Let's say it together. There are five tomatoes. How many strawberries can you see? Great. There are three strawberries. What about the sausages? Try to say the sentence yourself. There are six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, there are six sausages. But what should we do when we don't know the number or we don't want to say it? What should we do in this situation? What should we do when we want to say Let's try to find out. Look at these six sentences. Read them, please. Pause the video and read them. Be very attentive. Very good. Now, please uh, tell me which two sentences are affirmative. We have two affirmative sentences here. Right. It's sentence number one. Let's read it together. There are some bananas. And sentence number five. There is some Water. Please read the sentences aloud. Now think carefully and name the two sentences that are negative. Right, it's sentence number four. There aren't any crisps. 
And sentence number six, there isn't any rice. Okay, and which two sentences are interrogative, вопросительные? The most difficult task. It's sentence number two, are there any cookies? And sentence number three, is there any coffee? Very good. Now look at the affirmative sentences. Утвердительные предложения. Bananas. Countable or uncountable? Very quickly. Great. What about water? Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Great. Look at the negative sentences. Отрицательные. Crisps. Countable or uncountable? Countable. That's why we say aren't any crisps. And rice. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. That's why we say isn't any rice, because we cannot say are with uncountable. Look at the interrogative sentences. Cookies. Countable or uncountable? Countable. That's why we, we ask are there any cookies? And coffee? Coffee is uncountable. That's why we use is. Great. So, look at these sentences once again. Which two new words can you see? Right. You can see words some and any. Some and any means некоторое количество, несколько. When do we use some? Look carefully at the sentences. When do we use some? Let's try to fill in the gap. We use some, мы используем слово some, when the sentence is affirmative, утвердительное, or negative, отрицательное. When do we use some? Very good. We use some when the sentence is affirmative, утвердительное. Now, let's try to fill in the second sentence. We use any when the sentence is affirmative or interrogative, утвердительное или вопросительное, or negative or interrogative, отрицательное или вопросительное. Look at the sentences. Of course, we use any when the sentence is negative or interrogative. So some and any uh, have the same meaning. У них одно и то же значение. But we use some when the sentence is affirmative. And we use any when the sentence is um, negative or interrogative. Let's practice a little bit. And it will be very easy for you, I'm sure. Number one. Uh, we have affirmative sentences, утвердительные. So what do we use? Some or any? Great, we use some. Look at the sentence and look at the picture. What can you see? Right, you can see crisps. Are they countable or uncountable? Crisps are countable, right. So we need to say there are some crisps. Есть какое-то количество чипсов. Okay, look at the second sentence and try to build it yourself. Cherries are countable, of course. So what should you say? There are some cherries. Есть некоторое количество вишен, вишенок, вишни. <laughs> Number three. What can you see now? Great, this is meat. Is it countable or uncountable? Meat is uncountable, right? You can count pieces of meat, кусочки мяса. But meat in general is uncountable. So what should we say? Are or is? Great. There is some meat. Okay. And look at this sentence. We all know that chocolate is uncountable. Good. There is some chocolate. Now let's practice with negative sentences. What should we use? Some or any? Right. In the negative sentences, we use any. Let's do number one together. What can you see? You can see sausages and you can see the red cross. It means that we don't have sausages. What should we say here? First of all, sausages are countable. So we can use aren't, there aren't, any sausages. Нету сосисок вообще, никакого количества. Number two, try to do it yourself. You have cupcakes and they are countable. How would you build a sentence? There aren't any cupcakes. Very nice. Sentence number three. You have pasta. Pasta is uncountable, so you should say there isn't any pasta. Very good. And sentence number four. Cereal. There isn't, because it's uncountable, any cereal. Let's practice interrogative. What should we put here? Some or any? Any, again. 
we need to ask a question. It means that we put is or are to the very beginning of the sentence, right? We have strawberries here. Are they countable or uncountable? They are countable. Very nice. So we start with are there any strawberries? Very easy. Number two. Ah, and we have the answer. Yes, there are because we can see the green, uh, the green tick. Try to do number two yourself. Great. Are there any eggs? And we can see the red cross, so the answer is no, there aren't. Number three. Uh, we'll speak about rice. Rice is uncountable, so we put is. Is there any rice? What is the answer? No, there isn't. And try to do number four yourself. Is there any soup? Soup is uncountable. That's why we put is. Yes, there is. Very nice. Hmm. Hello, I need some food. Hello, how can I help you? Are there any carrots? Of course there are. There are some carrots. Very nice. What about apples? Are there any apples? Hmm, no, there aren't. There aren't any apples, but there are some cucumbers. Do you want cucumbers? No apples. No apple pie today. Uh, what about meat? Is there any meat? Meat, meat, meat. No, there isn't. There isn't any meat, but there is some fish. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Okay. Um, is there any cheese and is there any pasta? Um, there is some cheese, but there isn't any pasta. No pasta at all. Mm -hmm. No pasta. No pasta, no Italian food. Mario! Si! No Italian food today! No pasta! Come è possibile? And I have a question for you. What do you have in your kitchen? You can say the sentence. Don't write it, okay? Uh, you can say the four sentences. For example, in my kitchen, there are some apples. In my kitchen, there aren't any pears. In my kitchen, there is some water. And in my kitchen, there isn't any milk. What about you? Say sentences about yourself, about your kitchen. And the last task for today, we'll practice a little bit more. Now our task will be to change uh, the affirmative sentence into the negative sentence. For example, there are some crisps. This sentence is affirmative, утвердительное. There aren't any crisps. This sentence is negative. Some changes to any. Some меняется на any. Потому что предложение становится отрицательным. В отрицательном предложении и в вопросительном мы используем any в утвердительном some. Uh, try to do number two yourself. There are some cherries. There aren't any cherries. Very good. Number three. There is some meat. Uncountable. There isn't any meat. Good. And number four. There is some chocolate. We'll change to... There isn't any chocolate. Now let's do the opposite. We'll have um, negative sentences and we'll have to change them into affirmative sentences. Okay? There aren't any sausages. We'll change to there are some sausages. Теперь наоборот. Отрицание меняется на утверждение. Any меняется на some. Aren't меняется на are. Try to do number two yourself. There aren't any cupcakes. There are some cupcakes. Good. Number three. There isn't any pasta. Pasta is uncountable. That's why we use isn't. We'll change to there is some pasta. Good. And uh, number four, which is number three again. Oops. <laughs> there isn't any cereal. We'll change to there is some cereal. Very nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed our lesson and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day, everyone, and goodbye. Wait.